Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial, and on this one, uh, we need to talk about the mix. And I gotta tell you, the first time I saw this, uh, this, you know, was playing with this, um, it's just, it's just a little bit weird, just a little bit weird. It's, uh, you know, it, it, uh, what it does, it does it very well, you know, it's very simple what it does. It's just kind of a, a mix control. Let's say that we want to A, B something, or kind of uh, check uh, the, some values in between. Uh, well, it's, this is something that we can do. And the best thing I can explain this is just maybe I'm going to go here and bring a macro. I'm going to go and just bring a macro. And I'm going to make it, you know, uh, 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 with a polarity uh, negative and positive. I'm going to make it bipolar. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. Okay. So I'm going to go right here and just go right there. Okay. So now right here, we're, we can do pretty much the same thing on the B and on the A. The B can go up in positive values or can go down in negative values. Same thing on the A, we can go up or we can go down. Now the trick here comes when we want to go to the A or we want to go to the B. Now the B could be negative or positive and then the A can be negative or positive as well. So the trick is right here is that we do kind of a, the opposite of this. And right, right in between, we get a blend of both. But now when I go, I can go there or I can go to the A and see the changes. So if I go to this one and I say, okay, I'm going to go all the way up or I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to go positive and I'm going to go negative. Okay. So okay, I'm going to go there and right now nothing happens. So when I start moving to the B, notice that the positive is going to the positive and the negative is going to the negative. Right? Oh, made a mistake right there. Now, of course, it makes sense. If I go the, the, this way, we gave the instruction that this one is going to go one way or the other one. Now, if I go to the B, it's going to be the opposite. Now, the first one is going to go to negative and the other one is going to be to the positive. This is why, what we get from the A and B. Right? If we go to one side, we get one thing or we get the opposite thing because this works kind of a, on a bipolar fashion. It goes to one way or the other one. All right. So we get the up, the down or the down and the up. Uh, pretty simple to understand. Of course, uh, what's going to happen when we uh, go and do something like this? I'm going to go to the filter right here. Maybe I'm going to go right there. And then this one. Maybe I'm going to go, I don't know, down, or maybe I'm going to go the opposite. Let me just start over. I'm going to go to the frequency. I'm going to remove that one. And on this one, I want to go down. And on this one, I want to go up. All right. So I'm going to go and play the sound. And we get that. Now, since we are on 50%, we get nothing, right? We just don't get much. If I start going to the B, notice that the resonance is going to be more and we get less of the cutoff. If we go the other way, way we're going to get more of the filter and nothing of, of the resonance. And the problem right now is that we are just pretty much doing nothing to the resonance. So if we write some kind of a value, right, so we go less and high or high and less. Let me just go down on the volume. There we go. So this is what the AB is going to do. Now, of course, right now we are going 100% and 100%. We can do in-betweens. And notice that this is going to change how aggressive this is going to get. The B is much more aggressive, of course. So again, this is a nice tool. So you can go and map it to different things and check how it's going to be with values up, but you know, the values all the way up or the values just a little bit down. You can do an AB kind of a testing. This is kind of the nature of this, uh, of this uh, modulator. Now, my question is what happens if we, instead of just using it something uh, like, like something we can use to AB, what happens if we just try to modulate this? I'm going to go to a beat LFO. And I'm just gonna mess with this. And notice that we get it. We can modulate the A and the B. And I'm gonna go and say, since notice that this is going one direction, I'm gonna make it bipolar. So now it's gonna go up and down. And now we're gonna get a, just a different sound. Because it's gonna be up or down. And now this one is much useful, right? Super cool. And we can go crazy right here. I'm gonna go something more aggressive, maybe 
change the decay. I do a little bit more. And maybe I'm gonna go to unison greater values in this one. Maybe I'm gonna go and make it less mono, more mono. You can again go crazy. All the all the examples, all the all the uh, you know the the devices are just like this. Okay, so that's it. That's gonna be uh, the mix modulator. And of course, you can use it as an A/B kind of a testing uh, device or modulator, or you can use it as an actual modulation source. Right? So pretty cool. Okay, so hopefully you learned something, uh, you find this useful. Remember to like, subscribe, and to check Patreon because I upload to, uh, everything to Patreon way before I do it, uh, I do, uh, I upload on YouTube. So, see you on the next one.